For today's educational post, I'm reading highlighted snippets from a research article focused on gut health and its impact on your skin, also known as GSA or gut skin axis. I will be reading complex terminology for those who are interested in knowing the full scope and detail of what this research article provides. And if you would like to read the full research article, please contact me directly to send this to you. Disrupted communication between the microbiome and host has been extensively studied in gastrointestinal diseases. However, research on skin microbiome and its connection with the gut has been investigated to a lesser extent. Understanding the role played by the gut microbiome in regulating skin health may lead to developing novel therapies for dermatological conditions through microbiome modulation. The skin. The skin is the human body's largest organ and is a defensive obstruction against injuries and microbial assault. Like the gut, it is highly vascularized and heavily colonized with distinct microbial colonies. The skin shelters commensal microbes, bacteria, fungi and viruses, and specific microbial groups dominate different skin sites. Evidence shows that the skin microbiome may play an essential role in educating the immune system, with both cutaneous innate and adaptive immune responses modulating the skin microbiota during infection and healing. We also learned that when there is an imbalance in the skin immune homeostasis, there is a significant loss of diversity in most skin conditions. Gut Skin Axis GSA. Since the gut microbiome has beneficial and adverse impacts on normal physiology and homeostasis of gut and skin tissues, it is essential to look at the GSA. The term GSA describes the bi-directional relationship between gut and skin, where the gut may influence skin health owing to its immunological and metabolic properties. It may be challenging to attribute only a cause and effect relationship between the gut microbiome and dermatological conditions, but clinical studies support a connection between them, with several cutaneous diseases associated with gastrointestinal disorders and vice versa. Short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs. Signaling factors in GSA SCFAs are a subset of fatty acids produced from the fermentation of fiber in the gut. Evidence shows they increase the epithelia barrier function and can alleviate skin inflammation. SCFAs, particularly butyrate, suppress immune responses by inhibiting inflammatory cells proliferation, migration, adhesion and cytokine production. SCFAs also regulate both the activation and apoptosis of immune cells. They play a vital role in determining the predominance of specific skin microbiome profiles, which can impact the cutaneous immune defense mechanisms. Effect of gut skin dysbiosis on skin physiology, acne vulgaris. Acne is a chronic inflammatory disease of the pilosebaceous unit and its pathophysiology includes oversecretion of sebum, abnormal keratinization and the pro-inflammatory activity of the cutaneous microbiome. Dysbiosis in gut microbiota has been thought to contribute to the inflammatory response seen in acne, with notably increased ratios of bactroidetes to firmicutes, with overall reduced levels of actinobacteria, bifidobacterium, coprobacillus, lactobacilli species and proteobacteria. Various metabolic pathways, in addition to the gut microbiome, influence the pathophysiology of acne vulgaris, such as the MTOR pathway, which becomes activated by a high glycemic load. Furthermore, the high glycemic load is the main contributor to higher levels of insulin slash insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, signaling and enabling the expression of specific transcription factors, FOX01, ultimately leading to acne development. A high-fat diet devoid of fiber also influences the development of acne. This may contribute to alterations in gut motility and microbial profile. The loss of microbial biofilm, particularly bifidobacterium, causes intestinal permeability where endotoxins can travel through and gain systemic access. Inflammation and oxidative stress are a burden that is increased in gut dysbiosis and can be attenuated with dietary changes and oral live cultures. Laramnosus gigi may reduce the severity of ache over the course of 12 weeks. Asterisk bifidobacteria and lactobacillus species may improve glycemic load, inflammation, and the release of substance P from the intestinal tract and skin and attenuate the stress response associated with acne.
asterisk topical live cultures may hold a place by lowering skin inflammation and mediating substance P asterisk, atopic dermatitis, AD, also known as eczema. AD is a chronic skin condition that starts in childhood and often persists in adulthood. Its pathophysiology is complex and is believed to be a combination of genetic, environmental and immunological factors. However, evidence shows that the development of AD starts as early as infancy, and the dominant strain in AD is the Staph aureus strain. Antimicrobial peptides, AMP, are one of the most critical defense lines in the skin, and they fight pathogenic microbes such as S. aureus. A reduction in AMP expression is associated with the development of AD lesions. Lowered AMP stimulation due to the activity of Th2 cytokines may lead to allergies. A combination of L. salivarius, LS01, and B. lactis, BRO3, showed positive results. Asterisk Lahamnosus GG and B. animalis sub ESP lactis, BB12, given to children in their late infancy, had a preventative effect on AD development. Asterisk Lamnosis GG alone or in conjunction with Loiteri given to infants with AD and cow's milk allergy demonstrated a significant 56% reduction in severity. Topical live cultures. Live cultures, as we know, are live microorganisms, and the viability of live cultures is a prerequisite for certain benefits, such as the release of metabolites at the site of adhesion properties. However, some semi active or non Replicative bacterial preparations may retain a similar activity to the live forms. Topically applied, vitreocilla filiformis extract exerts similar biological activity to the live cultures in the gut. These include regulating immunity by optimization of regulatory cell function, protecting against infection and helping the skin barrier function for better recovery and resistance. Used in vivo, the extract improved AD symptoms and severity. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is a chronic, immune-mediated inflammatory skin disease. Contributing factors include an overactive immune system, genetic predispositions and environmental factors. In addition, like other skin conditions, skin and gut microbiota alterations have been reported in people living with psoriasis. Evidence suggests an abundance of firmicutes and lower levels of bacteroidetes and cut bacterium in psoriatic plaques compared to normal skin. Defects in firmicutes are associated with lower levels of SCFA production, which could account for the physiological basis of low-level inflammation of depression. Similarities in the gut microbiome of psoriasis patients were seen with those with inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, with a significant increase in Salmonella, E. coli, and Mycobacterium. There were also underrepresented amounts of Lactobacilli and Bifidobacterium SPP. Asterisk oral live cultures have had a positive influence with a decrease in plasma C reactive protein and pro inflammatory cytokines, TNF, alpha, and IL 6. Asterisk Luhamnosis GG, L Pentosis GMNL 77, and B Infantis, amongst other strains, show positive results. Asterisk L Paracasi CNCM 12116, ST11 improved skin barrier function recovery and decreased signs of reactive skin inflammation. Asterisk. Approaching each dermatological condition will differ based on the individual's clinical history. However, lowering the immune response and modulating the gut microbiome through diet, lifestyle and oral live cultures can have a significant impact. Asterisk. Modifying the firmicutes bacteria deets ratio may help improve an impaired gut epithelial barrier. Asterisk, minimizing small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, can help. Asterisk fecal transplant procedure has shown positive results in many skin-related disorders. Asterisk supporting the GSA should be considered an integral part of the much more extensive network, the gut-brain-skin axis. Asterisk topical live cultures could serve as potential adjunctive management of the skin microbiome. Need more health advice. At Star Freud Wellness, nutritional and lifestyle coaching and support services are offered at the clinic as well as online. And on that note, we are wrapping up today's short educational podcast. Please remember to subscribe to this podcast and leave a five star review. This will help support getting these podcasts out there. It encourages more people getting into the know about their health and wellness. Growing this community is a major goal of mine 
and I would greatly appreciate your support. I am your host, Star Freudenberg, a holistic health specialist and educator, empowering your mind and body through 